Let's talk about the seasonality or the cyclical nature of Austin real estate. So in Austin, what's interesting is that we have a little bit of a different market in terms of its seasonality. When you're dealing with cold weather places that people are moving into Austin from, like Chicago, New York, et cetera, your market's gonna be dead in the winter. As we're getting a little bit, you know, nippier fall weather here in Austin, things start to actually ramp up. So we, what we'll see in the fourth quarter is typically a pretty busy and active time. So if you're thinking about selling a home and it's, you know, getting to be Thanksgiving time, and typically the mindset would be, you know, the world's about to shut down. Well, actually what we see is realtors go to work. So if you'd like to buy or sell real estate in the fourth quarter of the calendar year, by all means, reach out to Struve Residential Group. What I can tell you on the flip side is that when we are in our hot kind of dog days of summer, it's humid outside, where people are getting out of town, they're on vacations, et cetera, that's actually when we see if we can discern any sort of dip or lull in Austin real estate, we typically see it in July and August. So aside from those two months, we're going strong all the time. We are going to obviously follow the traditional spring calendar as well. You're gonna have a huge uptick in available homes for sale. So inventory will increase as kind of that school year calendar sort of comes to an end. So we do have busy springs. We have busy beginnings of summer, but like I said, it does taper off into the late hottest part of that long summer in Austin that actually stretches sometimes all the way into October. So if you've been thinking about buying or selling and you thought the market was dying off in the fourth quarter, you know, here to tell you that's not the case.